Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about obedience, and we've already discussed the hierarchy of who should obey who. Now, one of the two ways to fail in obedience, deficiency of obedience. It's very easy to understand what deficiency of obedience is. This just means that when faced with an authority figure who should be obeyed, you decide not to do so. Usually this takes the form of a person choosing to obey themselves over the people they should really be obeying, as human beings are very vulnerable to selfish temptations. For example, if your supervisor tells you to move some boxes for her, but you decide not to because you'd rather play with your iPad instead, that would be a deficiency of obedience. This kind of disobedience is also the reason why it sometimes gets complicated trying to figure out who to obey. People in middle positions sometimes disobey those over them and need in turn to be disobeyed so that we can obey the highest authority. An example of this from history would be King Henry VIII, who had a position of authority and used that position to try to force the church to accept his divorce from his wife. As we covered in the last episode, even rulers should be subject to those in the church who care for their spiritual well-being. Instead, King Henry tried to force the bishops of England to make him the head of the church. That was an act of disobedience, because he placed himself in a position over those who should have had authority over him. These kinds of examples can be found all over the place to indicate just how people can be deficient in obedience. Next time, what is an excess of obedience? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.